Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you the new Cinebench 2024. Uh, they have a big innovation this year. They added the GPU. So now you can test your GPU, as you can see. You still have the CPU multi-core in the single core. And uh, for sure, the Cinebench, uh, they, they, they improve it. It's tougher for your CPU to render the image. So uh, pretty cool over there. So... We're going to start to look at the software software itself. So nothing new, honestly, if you go to uh, preference or even advanced bench mode, you have uh, different test duration. So if you want to test your throttling, uh, you want to make sure that you have a stable boost clock. You don't have any issue with your thermal. You can run the benchmark uh, in like for 10 minutes for your GPU, CPU or whatever you want to do. And also you can do testability if you're doing overclocking. So for example, you're overclocking your CPU or your GPU, you just run the benchmark for 30 minutes and you're going to make sure that you don't have any artifact or any crashes. The big innovation this year, it's the GPU now, so you can test it if you want. You have a nice ranking over there to compare your GPU with other uh, GPU on the, the market. And also, honestly, just look at Google and you can compare yourself with different people. I did two different tests. The first one was my uh, 4090 without recording. And this one is when I was recording. So I can show you a small test. So you just click start. And now you will see that the GPU will start to render as you can see over there. So now we're going to have a score that we can compare with the GPU ranking over here and also on the internet if you want. So pretty fast for <laughs> a 4090. So as you can see, it's still low if you compare it without me recording this video. But still, it's a pretty good test. So this is pretty much it for Cinebench. Uh, you, I think now the tool is complete. You don't need to use another tool. Uh, you can test your overclocking. You, you can test your, your thermals. And also you can just test your per performance of your computer if you're talking about GPU, CPU, and multi-core or even in single core. Uh, I think this update is really good. I don't have a date for the launch of the new software. I'm probably I'm going to update it in my video description to tell you guys or maybe in the comment section of the YouTube. But this is pretty much it. Very cool tool. I'm going to for sure using it to test my overclocking and my GPU. If you have any question about Cinebench, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me any question about it. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.